In this video, I will be constructing parallel lines using the alternate interior angle method. So the first thing we want to do is we want to draw a transversal or a line through point M that passes through line L. This will be the transversal once we make our parallel lines. I'm going to call this line T. So now what we have to look at is what angles are going to be my alternate interior angles. And by definition, we remember that if we have parallel lines, alternate interior angles are between the two parallel lines on opposite sides of the transversal and also at the different intersections. So if I'm looking at upper left on the first intersection, if I'm in the upper left quadrant, I want to be in the lower right quadrant of the second intersection. So just as a reminder, I'm going to put a mark where both of those angles are. That will help me remember where I want to construct those. And I will strike an arc across both sides of my angle at the original intersection of L and T. And again, I want to be in the lower right, so I'll place my stylus on M and strike that arc. And now I have my two arcs drawn. I'm going to measure the distance across the angles from the transversal each time. Mark that intersection, then we'll come to the transversal and we'll strike that arc. And once again, we'll draw the line. And again, if we're asked to name the point or give our line another name, like MU, then we can label it as such. And that is using the alternate interior angle method of construction for parallel lines. That concludes this video.